Yes, indeed, the Bible made us to understand that what shall it profit a man or a woman to gain the whole world and lose his or her own soul? And another thing drops into my mind that indeed, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity because it will all end beneath the earth. Yes, this video is late Mr. John Okafor's body which is popularly known in nollywood industry as mr ibu hmm. and he was just released from where he left planet earth saturday the second of march 24 and that is ever care hospital all right and as you can see on the screen the disease was uh, moved from lagos state to his hometown in Nuku State, and this is his wife, Mrs. Stella Maris Okafor, who they said that have contributed to the early demise of this man. Just a quick memory, in case for those of you that doesn't really know what happened, Mr. Ibu was fit, hale, and hearty until this impending disaster hit him, and this was his adopted daughter Jasmine and his son. All right, he was poisoned and along the line his legs were amputated and he became so depreciated he have big tummy because we don't know who poisoned him and on this date they said that he had cardiac arrest and that was how he died all right okay and um, before he passed on nigerians as we are good-hearted ones donated over 100 million naira to him for his health care but that one as you know he enter voicemail the wife and the adopted daughter jasmine they drag all the draggables we don't even know how that money was spent and then um, hmm, in this video you will see some good memories of him while he was still alive because mr ibu is a jovial a playful human man and i still told you in one of my videos that my younger sister met him on several occasions in the plane and she said they really laughed their time out when he was with them during that um, flight all right that is the kind of person he is there is no dull moments in his life this is him in this casket being removed from um, the hospital he was admitted and that was where he died after he appreciated paul okoye who we know as root boy one of the p square for always coming around to stay with him sleep with him in the hospital so i've also done the video may he continue to rest in peace and as you see for this video one they see so they don't carry the body you then go bury him. and nigerians with their wagging tongue they talk like, why is it that uh, the family want to go and bury him so soon before uncle may they allow and rest and the man have really suffered a lot when it comes to healthcare matters what about his sanity? We not even they talk about that. He had to abandon his profession, something he loved doing, which is acting. Global citizens, this was one of the happiest moments of John Okafor with his playmates. This world is not my home. We are just strangers. After selling, we'll go back to where we come from. Can I ask you a question? This is just hypothetical. How would it make you feel if you never saw me again? Guys, this is a question for every human being living on planet Earth. Yes. You know, in life, eh, I will say it is until one least planet Earth. That is when people will really start talking about that person, whether being good or bad. So the bottom line is that what legacy are we to leave behind? Because it go happen, and now one day, and that particular day that it will happen, so many of us don't even know. That is why the adage says tomorrow is pregnant however we pray that untimely death shouldn't be our portion i believe that death is something that we should not even pray for our enemies in as much as jesus christ who is a man without sin 
came to planet Earth for a mission, a purpose, and that is for him to die, to redeem the salvation of mankind, to redeem the salvation of our soul. That is the main aim and vision Jesus Christ was sent from heaven to planet Earth. You understand? But what about you and I that we are born from our parents? Mm -hmm. Just a quick memory lane that Mr. Igbo have been suffering for some years now. And in the year 2023, October to be precise, he revealed that he was suffering from an inmate suspected to be diabetes. And he was so broke that he took the courage to come to social media and ask Nigerians for financial favor, which they did. And according to what we heard, they said over 100 million Naira was raised and given to the family. And just because he is not from a good family, he doesn't have this support system from the family, there was buzz on how to spend the money. To cut long story short, his leg was eventually amputated in the year 2023. Very good at his acting and even at his kids. And he normally acts as a drunk poor man or a street fool, if you understand. So that made him popular and he was born October 17th, 1961. He went to the Institute of Management and Technology in Enugu State, Nigeria. He was from Umeniku in Okano, West Local Government Area of the Southeast Enugu State. After his father died, Mr. Ibu moved to Sapele in Delta State in 1974 to stay with his brother where he did many jobs so he could send himself to school and support his family. He then worked as a hairstylist, he ventured into photography and also worked in a company that produced crates. Mr. Igbo found his calling especially in acting comedies. So on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024, he died from cardiac arrest complications, having been healing for several months. The Victorian Arthur passed away from planet Earth at Evercare Hospital and his death have been seen outrage on social media because a day before he died, he lost one of his colleagues, a popular Nigerian actor who goes by the name Tolani Oye Bameji, aka CC Quadri. I have watched the video of that late actor, the Vivian Berry. According to the National President Actors Guide of Nigeria, NGA Emeka Rulas, that's the president, he broke the news of Ibu's death by saying that Mr. Ibu's manager of 24 years, who goes by the name Don Singo Wuzu, told him. So after Ibu's leg was amputated in October 2023, I knew that he won't really be himself. I've been having these feelings inside of me that it will just take the grace of God for this man to live long. Before he passed, he have acted over 200 Nigerian movies. And the man, eh, if you be with him, eh, my people, una go laugh tire. Because I remember my younger sister telling me that they boarded the same flight and throughout their flight from um, Port Harcourt to uh, Lagos State, Mr. Ibu won't kill them with laughter for inside the plane. You understand? So he's a funny guy and life indeed is full of uncertainties. And I will conclude with this. Instead of someone to live and not be happy about his or her condition, instead let the person just go and rest in peace in the bosom of the Lord. Because some kind of sickness is not something one can contain. It is until you are in that same boat you will understand what the person is going through.